Hello, hello, my dear friends. Welcome back. I'm taking a moment from roasting the fools who thought it would be a great idea to jump on the Where is Kate bandwagon to harass a woman who we now know was dealing with her own personal health crisis after revealing some devastating news. But fear not, those videos will continue after this. However, I wanted to touch on this story which was released by Page Six who shared with the entire world the two degenerates from Montecito had privately reached out to Kate Middleton. I guess it was so private they just had to run and tell Page Six about it. But clearly, Harry and Meghan have no clue what privacy is. But bet your sweet bottom, my friends, Harry and Meghan will always be there to exploit a tragedy and use it for their own PR means. So page six, who just happens to have the details of this so-called private moment, state the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who have a strained relationship with the royal family, sent a public message to Middleton after she announced her shocking diagnosis. We wish health and healing for Kate and the family and hope they are able to do so privately and in peace. How nice of Harry and Meghan to be able to use their own titles but can never afford the same respect to others, ever. To be honest, this pathetic message that they released was kind of condescending and backhanded, doesn't it? I mean, we all know that they are running bot farms and their minions, the degenerate Sussex squids, harass everyone. Personally, I don't believe Harry or Meghan reached out to Catherine or King Charles since their medical diagnosis. And to be quite frank, I don't believe that the King or Catherine or anyone in the royal family would utter a word to Harry and Meghan. Well, unless if you are the royal rat Princess Eugenie, I doubt Eugenie is close enough to any of those senior royals to be getting that kind of information, especially since she has shown that her loyalty is to Harry. But like I said earlier, I think Eugenie is a rat and I don't trust her, and I will leave that story for another video. But getting back on topic, I highly doubt Harry and Meghan reach out privately to Catherine. Their cold statement to Harper's Bazaar told you exactly that they don't give a flying F about Catherine and her medical issues, but it does highlight their narcissism. Harry and Meghan can take their phony private words of fake empathy and false wishes of good health, privacy, and peace and stick it up both of their asses simultaneously. Harry and Meghan have done nothing but destroy the privacy and the peace of the Wales family, especially Catherine. Meghan's jealousy of Catherine knows no boundaries and in her sick little brain, she is probably wishing and hoping Catherine had some kind of adverse reaction and maybe her hair falls out from treatment. Megan is probably reveling in the news that Catherine isn't well, but is also pissed off at the same time for all the attention Catherine is receiving. Harry's wife is nothing but a vile subhuman cretin who is pure evil and Harry is nothing but a stupid dimwit. A stupid dimwit who gave up his royal life and stabbed his family in the back for a cheap raggedy harlot who isn't even good looking or that smart. What a dork, seriously. And on that note, my friends, let me know what you think in the comments below and I will catch you in the next one. Stay gorgeous, my friends. Take care, bye.